Hey, good morning, everybody. Um, I'm David Beach, and this is uh, Elevate Your Performance. Today, I want to talk about the three biggest contributors to satisfaction on the job and what you can do about them, whether you're in a position of authority or whether you're just a worker bee like me. Uh, <clears throat> meaningfulness, awareness, and responsibility are the three big contributors. Uh, meaningfulness means you get some kind of higher purpose out of the work that you do. Uh, awareness, of course, just refers to how much you know about what's going on around the workplace. Uh, and then responsibility is a little bit trickier. Responsibility, uh, studies show that if you feel like you are responsible for people or your workplace or managing things in the workplace, you typically report higher levels of satisfaction. But what we're really after are feelings of responsibility that contribute uh, rather than actual responsibility. So you don't have to be in a position of authority and actually responsible for anything if we promote those feelings that you're responsible for your own workplace. That makes a big difference. Okay, so to increase feelings of uh, meaningfulness, what you need to do is, is attach the work that you do a little bit more closely to your customers. Uh, if you can if you can identify a person and put a face with that person uh, and know the impact that your product or service has on that person or the contribution you make to the final product or service, um, then you'll be able to report higher levels of satisfaction, typically. For awareness, to increase awareness, uh, the easiest way thing to do is just ask more questions. Um, so if you have more meaningful conversations, you'll typically be more aware of what's going on but maybe an easier way is to take the goals of your team and your division or your department or your company and put them on a board, uh, either a digital board or a physical board and make sure you see it every morning before you start work. But it's not just the goal that matters, okay? So that's the kind of expectation. We also want to know the status of our work in accomplishing the goal. So you remember those thermometers that we put on fundraisers and you can watch that thermometer rise toward our goal it's the same thing and you know how good it feels as you see you're making progress so that's what we're trying to do I want you to be aware of our progress toward those goals and finally responsibility to get more feelings of responsibility uh, solve a problem instead of just reporting a problem up someplace uh, and letting somebody else worry about it do the analysis yourself or with your teammates. Um, come up with, I don't know, three or four different solutions and then share those solutions with people who can actually help you implement those solutions. Take responsibility for your own workspace. Take control of your own workspace. You'll find it makes a big difference. That's it for today. I'm gonna to talk about more of these in future episodes. Uh, I'll have a an episode dedicated to meaningfulness on Thursday. So please join me then. Also join me at noon on Wednesday for a lean coffee discussion via Zoom. We had great talks last week. I think we'll have some good ones this week as well. Um, and stay tuned. I'm gonna to try to do, no, I'm going to do a webinar on Thursday afternoon as a trial just to practice. Uh, and uh, you're welcome to attend for free. Um, be watching for that announcement either on here or other places. Uh, that's it for today. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you tomorrow.